Hi guys and welcome back. Tonight we are going Asian inspired and making a vegetable and beef stir fry. As you can see on my cutting board, my plates and in my bowl, I have a variety of vegetables with lots of color. I love color in my food and you'll see that show through in tonight's dinner. Um, I'm going to be using peppers, green and red. I have a beautiful bunch of basil that I got from my garden. I love basil. Um, I'm going to use cabbage, white and purple. I have carrots of three colors. I have an onion. I have some broccoli that I have cut up and washed in that bowl there, ready to be blanched. Um, I have asparagus, mushrooms. You can use whatever you have, whatever you like. Um, it's all good. So I'm going to start slicing my carrots. I'm going to soak them in hot water. Um, since they'll be sitting there for a bit, it's not really blanching. The broccoli, I will um, pour my hot water over, sit it in there for two minutes, and then I'll pour it out and um, run some cold water over it to stop the cooking process. Um, I like my vegetables to stay crunchy in my stir fry, well, just in general. <laughs> um, so we're going to be going for that tonight. Um, we will just saute or stir fry these for about a minute each or a minute and a half at the most as we start the process. So I'm going to slice up my carrots. I do hear my water boiling or it's done. So I'm going to get the kettle and fill up the bowl with, um, the broccoli. And like I said, that will sit in there for no more than two minutes and then it'll be, uh, drained and cold water run over it. Um, I have finished slicing my carrots and I'm going to also pour some hot water over them um, and we will get ready to stir start this stir fry. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you the steak that I'm going to be using tonight. Um, it is from my local farmer. It's called beef sandwich steak. Of course, you can use anything you have. You can use chicken, shrimp, or you can keep this vegetarian. Um, because they're such thin strips of steak, I, um, put it back in the freezer. It had thawed. I just put it back in the freezer for a minute or two to make it easier to cut. As you can see, it's really, really thin. Um, it, the good thing is that it will cook really quickly. Um, tonight I wasn't going for precision, precision, so <laughs> I didn't cut this evenly, but it's all good. Um, once I cut those strips, I did cut it across to give me smaller pieces, and I decided last minute to use a sauce, which is just a mixture of half a cup of low sodium soy sauce and a quarter cup of sriracha. So I'm going to be pouring that over my stir fry. In my pot, I have heated about two tablespoons of coconut oil, and I'm going to start stir frying my steak. Um, once that is about two minutes in, I will pour in my mushrooms and cook those two together. And then I'm going to pour that out into a plate. I'm going to drain the broth, whatever broth there is, into my sauce. And then I'm going to clean my pot, add some more oil, and start with the vegetables. I always start with my onions. Um, so I'm going to pour those in the pot. I'm also going to be using, which I didn't show you, two cloves of garlic and about a two inch piece of ginger. If you love garlic, use more. If you hate garlic, leave it out. <laughs> um, so there goes in my garlic. My ginger is already in. Um, and then because I love the smell of onions and peppers sauteing together, I'm going to um, pour my peppers in right after uh, my garlic. Um, I usually would go with the more tough vegetables and do it in that order but I have to go with my peppers next. <laughs> and then I'm going to add the asparagus um, and the cabbage. And last but not least, I will add the pre-cooked broccoli and carrots. And I will let those all join together in harmony <laughs> and spend a few seconds or minutes together. And, um, and then I'll start to add the sauce and um, I will end up with the basil last. Right now, I'm going to get my meat and my mushrooms, and I'm going to pour that back into these vegetables. Um, like I said, they're all going to need to get to know each other. Um, so <laughs> we'll do that next. <laughs> um, look at how beautiful that is, guys. I love color, like I said, in my food. Um, so there goes my meat and mushrooms. Do not forget to subscribe. Give this a thumbs up. Hit that share button and share this with your friends and family. Um, and comment down below if you want to see any recipes 
and I'll give you a shout out um, when I do make that recipe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just mix this in nicely, grab my sauce and pour that over this mixture. And then I have chopped up my basil, so I'm going to um, get that and pour that over this and give it a quick toss and lo and behold, dinner will be ready. Doesn't that look beautiful guys? Give this a shot, let me know what you think, enjoy, and I will see you next time.